one. YouTube, it's me, your old pal. Hi, forever one. Coming to you today. Talk about punk rock records that I got. Woo, they're new. My record store day did not involve going and waiting. It involved camping with Viper Jr., and I had a great time. And I wouldn't change that for a second. I didn't get anything for record store day. And that's a good sign, too. Records flying off the shelf. Ugh. You saw it here. It was a ghost, man. All right, let's talk about records, though. You already know who I am because I explained. Hi, for Viper One. My record fell. But I got this. Hey, the reflectors. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to take off plastics as I go because I wasn't real prepared. So, oh, yeah, this one. Never mind. I'm, this one is just going to have to be shiny because it's, like, really this weird material. It's really smooth and shiny, but this kind of plastics is like, it was really hard to get it in there, and it's really hard to get it out, and so I don't think I could do it in time. But this is Power Pop from L.A., and this just came out. They just sent it to me the other day. And Neon Nile, and um, these guys are really good. I would have to say this one, my critique is that maybe somebody said, you're over singing, dude, don't do it, and he, like, he changed his singing style a little bit, but he kind of goes back to it, at least on like one or two songs. But I would, my critics, don't listen to them. Just sing how you sing, man. Okay? <laughs> and then I got this. Cherry Cheeks from Portland, Oregon. Um, this is first record. Um, he's from Orlando, Florida. This came out in, oh boy, I didn't write that part down. But doesn't matter. It was a while ago. This is his first record. Mm, this is Egg Punk, I guess. And this is really good. And I just heard of it. And I just got it. And I've never seen this guy. And he lives here. But I don't. Never seen him. So I'm going to see him. But then I got this. This is another thing, I guess. Th maybe these ones are records that I got that I heard about. And I was like, man, I got to have this. And this one was a long time ago. But I finally got it. Uh, Judah? That's what they say. Come on, Judah, score the goal. Because they're like, uh, roller derby, roller derby guys, I guess. They have roller skates on and helmets, football helmets. So I don't know. But this is really good. Uh, Italian uh, from Italy, and they are real uh, kind of glammy, uh, anthemic, like, Makes you, I mean, it's a booty shaking record. If you haven't heard of these guys, you should check it out. I, I, won't, I only wanted, they had another live one that was when I was looking for these guys, but I wanted this one and I finally found it and it was used. So, whatever. Now, the next record. This is the, I guess, say Chandeliers. And this is really cool. This is Power Pop. And um, they got some, like, it's not like, you know, like the formula of Power Pop. It's more like, they use some different instruments and like, you know, there's horns and there's, it's kind of a more, uh, adult contemporary punk, uh, power pop, but it's super good. I really like it and, uh, check it out. They have another record and I really like this one and I got it. I don't know if it came yet or, and I put it away, but it's not as good as that one. It's their self-release one, but I ha I don't know if it came yet. I think it did, but I might have put it away. And I, did. but anyway, I got this. This is uh, oh my god, let's see this one. This is uh, rock, radio stars, uh, swinging hits, swinging songs for swinging lovers. See the, they're swinging there, and this is a uh, super good. Uh, Power pop pop bleh, 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 pop pop power pop punk from England in seventy seven. This is on Chisick Records, I guess that's how you say it. And this cover is like I got it on Discogs and it was really cheap because the cover was all messed up. But this record is so good. I listened to it so times. They have like awesome songs by Chisick Records. That's a good song. Cause I put that on your record. Uh, this is Macaroni and Mice. I was like, dude, it was like the second time I was listening to it and I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, I had to go grab the record. Is that what they're saying? Macaroni and mice? Awesome. It's really good, though. 
Power Pops Punk. And I guess I heard about this from old Cosmic Brian. He sent me some, uh, he, well, all he said was Power Pop Punk. The kid liked it. Ryan Kid says it's cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, seven inch. Boys order. Japan. And um, I have their 12 inch and it's super good. And I just found out when I was looking this up that they have another one. Because I'd never seen anything by them. And I was like, whoa, I've got to get this. Besides that 12 inch that I got. So they have another seven inch. And it's, uh, I don't really like seven inches. And I don't like to pay for them. And it's kind of expensive. But I'm probably going to order it just because these guys are cool. They got creepers on. <laughs> Okay, and that they're um, new wavy punk from Japan, real good. They sing in English sometimes, but it's you know Japanese English, and sometimes it's not. And w only one of the songs I hadn't heard. Oh well, their other seven inch has a whole bunch of songs on it. Then, kind of got some grail time. I'm gonna take this one out, even though everyone's probably seen it. The Ramones Acid Eater. And this one is a record of covers. <laughs> and I will give it the same critique that Johnny gave it during uh, whatever commando documentary or whatever. I don't like this one. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I, it's covers and it's cool. Um, second to the last Ramones record for me to completion. So I'm almost there. And I don't count live albums because I don't like them. So I'll probably get It's Alive too because I don't have that. And it's the, what all the bands in England started at that show, I guess, right? Whatever. Lore has it, if that's really what it is. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. I don't like records, but I, live records. But that one's supposed to be good. And the Ramones, that's a grill. But this one is a grill even more. And it's even the last. Our last album by the Toy Dolls. And this also. Dun, dun, dun! One to completion. But that one also hard to get. And it is... Oh, the one I wanted, I ordered. I got some a heads up from uh, Dr. October and a Ryan Kidd on where to get it for Scarecrow Records. I ordered it. Come in. I ordered it on the weekend. And then when, on Monday morning, they sent me an email saying, Oh, we, it was in the store and we sold it. <laughs> I was like, no. It was like, oh, geez. <laughs> totally reasonably priced. Aww. But that, the Toy Dolls, who dares? That's their bones. This is the Toy Dolls. This is their last album, which isn't their last album. Uh, this one came out. Okay, should I talk about... Boy's Order came out and 214 on Secret Mission Records. Then, the Ramones, uh, Acid Eaters, came out in 1993... But that's a 2023 Surf City Records repress. This is a 213 Randall repress of a 204 Toy Dolls album, which was probably on Secret. I don't know what album, what record label they were on. But, um, yeah. Toy Dolls, what do you got to say? What do I got to say? Uh, I don't know. Not much. Hey! How are things, everyone? You know what? I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I haven't been getting the attention here that I deserve. I <laughs> don't deserve. Well, whatever. I did a new thing, and I'm going to do it tomorrow, too. I did it last week. Stand up comedy. Your boy, open micer, did it. Did pretty good. I did at least better than some of the people. I kind of rushed out, not right after, but somebody was like, hey, was that really your first time? And I was like, yeah. He's like, whoa, yeah, you have like really good stage presence and, uh, you know, so you got like, uh, all you did, because I had, I didn't have my jokes, I did it, I, I wasn't super prepared, I was the only one who had a piece of paper, and so I was like kind of going fast and, uh, it, but you know, it pulled off, I got laughs, so whatever, I'm doing it again, I got my shit down. I'll let you guys know, or I might not. I might let this 
fade back away into oblivion. And the people will say, oh, what happened to old Hyper Viper? And then maybe I'll come back when I get some more. But I'm not going to be buying as many records because I don't need to. i got a whole bunch of stuff right now and I'm pretty happy. But I also got some money recently and I know I'll buy more records. So I'll probably make another one of these when I get enough records. But I, it's not number one priority. So, ta-ta for now. I'm Hyper Viper. Bye-bye.